So the idea of this is that the, when the leprechaun finds this, and if he tries to grab it and steal it, this thing will fall on him. Oh, that naughty leprechaun, he played tricks on us. She said that, right? <laughs> I have no idea where she even got that. So I got home from the gym tonight and Cash said, let's make five traps for the leprechaun so that we make sure and catch him. And I said, how about we use an extra special bait? Which is like this million dollar thing of grandpa's. We didn't ask grandpa, so grandpa, we're just gonna borrow it real quick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really hope the leprechaun isn't smarter than us and doesn't steal it. Yeah, because it's grandpa's gold coin, huh? <laughs> Hey, it was Matt's idea, not mine. Okay, so we're gonna build a trap and try and outsmart that little sucker because he will not be able to resist this gold coin, right? Yeah. All you guys right. excited? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's build this leprechaun trap. Where did Grandpa get this? I think he buys them. Cash was wondering if maybe he picks them up off the ground. What do you think? Do you think he gets them on the ground? No. I think he, I think someone buries them over centuries and then he digs them up. Uh, I don't think so. What do you think, Paze? I think he buys them. You think or, he buys them? Or he reads articles on where to find them and digs them up. We're gonna set a trap. I feel like that, and if I tie a string from here to the coin, the coin moves it all. The leprechaun isn't super strong. He's probably gonna be okay without the heavy thing, don't you think? I think the box would be heavy enough. So we'll cut the string. And then we'll tape it to this. And we'll tape it to this. Underneath so it doesn't see it. this at all the box. So the idea of this is that the, when the leprechaun finds this, and if he tries to grab it and steal it, this thing will fall on him. And then when it yeah. touches the ground, it will wake us up so we know that that the kind of here and then we can grant. Wait, I'm gonna go to the school and grant out and grant all of our wishes. So to let you know, this person at school, um, the adult of this person at my school said that her dad um used to live in Ireland mm -hmm. and they went all around Ireland to find the leprechaun and then it took them years and years but they still never gave up and then um he finally found a leprechaun mm -hmm. and um he finally found a leprechaun and he, he actually found a kingdom of the leprechaun mm -hmm. and then he went to the king and said and and did three wishes and he wants to be like seven foot three and then his wish, it, his wish was granted. Really? So what would you wish for? To fly. To fly? No. Or to be 21 years old. You're silly. Why do you want to be 21? I want to be Yeah, what do you wish, Paige? You want to be, you want to fly? Yep. You do? Yep. What? Go look and see. Did he not fall for our trick? No. Nice try. Nice try. Look at those footprints. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little, huh? <laughs> I don't think he played any tricks on us. Oh, that not a lot of Turn your milk green too? Oh, that not a lot of fun. You played tricks on us. And you didn't even fall for our trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darn it. 
goddess this year will get an next year. You dyed our milk green again? Yep. Oh my gosh! What? That naughty leprechaun. Oh, he's so naughty. I'm making some homemade waffles for breakfast. Some buttermilk ones. I love it. Just for you. Pretty yummy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta flip it so they're nice and fluffy. Honestly, I don't know if it does anything, but it seems like it's a good idea. How is it? Good. Yeah? So Lena, how are your eggies? <laughs> are those yummy eggies? Yeah. How's, how's your waffles? What? Oh, good. Okay, how's your waffles? What? <laughs> oh, good. And Mr. over here is putting all of his artwork away. Why don't you show us your artwork? So just so I made up the head. Yes, you did. You do good artwork, huh? Uh -huh. I'm proud of you. And these Pokemon that you did all by yourself, you are a great artist. There's Mr. Strange that you traced. Dr. Strange, I knew that. Thanks, babe. Are you not going to say it? There's a popcorn. There's a popcorn. She said that, right? <laughs> I have no idea where she even got that. I do. Where did she learn to say it? So we were sitting there and all of a sudden she goes, Oh my gosh, look at her butt. It's from Sing. It's from Sing? Yeah, the bunny say, Oh my gosh, look at her butt. Oh. oh. You're silly. Can you say it again? No? I love your flowers. Did you put those on? Those are beautiful. Are you beautiful? You want to wear it? You want me to wear it? Yeah. Okay. You put it on me? think about my project. I'm going to see what to put in it. Oh, is it pretty? It doesn't fit me as good We're as it does. Huh? Like Does it look nice? Does it look nice on me? Yeah. All right. Oh. Um, I should put my special tiny. Put it on you. Oh, that looks beautiful on you. Mm -hmm. Look at her back. Mm. <laughs> look at her back. Mm. <laughs> Stinker. <laughs> it's so salty. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. It sounds so bad when a two-year-old says it. What do you have here? Wait, I have a lap dog. <laughs> she's not driving me nuts. Oh, now she's gonna do it. Guys, all I want is a lap dog. And Olive as a puppy is not a very good lap dog. Amber took Olive to tie the dog guidance last week and she's been so, so much better. So I have hope that maybe when she's done being an annoying puppy that she'll be my lap dog. <laughs> and she'll lay on me and watch TV. <laughs> she has been way better though lately since we took her to Ty this last time. He's he's the dog whisperer. Isn't he the dog whisperer? He's a genius. Oh, he is a genius. We are so grateful for him. But she's been so much better. Like night and day difference. Way better. You wiped your face? Let's see. You wiped it off? Okay, you look like a clean one owner. Did you enjoy that dessert? Is that nice chocolate? Mmm. 